Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we will talk about aggregate functions that are available in SOQL. SOQL also have aggregate functions just like SQL. And aggregate functions allow us to roll up and summarize the data. So let's say if you wanted to calculate the average, if you wanted to calculate the minimum or the maximum value, we can use these aggregate functions. We will take a look at each of these aggregate functions in this tutorial. We're going to talk about average, minimum and maximum function. And then let's say we have a business requirement for our chemical equipment and processing company. And what we have to do is we have to calculate the average revenue that we are making from the customer name ABC customer. So let's say our ABC customer has, let's say three invoices and uh, he has paid different, different, each invoice has a different amount he has paid. So let's say we have to calculate the average amount that the customer has given to us. So first thing is we're gonna go back to our customer's object here and see if we have a customer name ABC customer. So yes, we have a customer with the name of ABC customer and let's see if this customer has invoices. So this particular customer has three invoices and each of this invoice has a particular amount with it. So let's say for this invoice, we have a hundred dollar. Then the second invoice is for $500. And the third invoice that we have is it for this amount, which is equals to $700. So we have three invoices. One is for hundred dollars. The other one is for 500 and the third one is for 700. So what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and calculate the average of the amount that the customer has paid. So how are we going to do it? We're going to go back to a developer console and this is our Apex code we're going to write. So first thing what we're going to do is we're getting the average of all the invoices for the ABC customer. So this is the customer name we have. So what is the query here? So the query is select. This is the important clause. And this is the aggregate function average. So we are calculating the average on which field we are calculating the average of this amount paid. So we're going to go ahead and refer here the average of this particular field. So the API name for the amount pays is apex underscore amount paid underscore underscore C. From which table? So the name of the table is the invoice table. Where? So we have to look for that particular customer whose name is ABC customer. So how are we are going to go ahead and get the name of the customer through the Apex invoice? So it is equals to retrieving a parent record using the uh, through this child object. So how we did it in the last tutorial? We're going to go ahead and say Apex underscore customer underscore underscore R dot of name. And what is the name of the customer should be? The name of the customer should be ABC customer. So the return type of this query is going to be a list of aggregate results. So this is the most important point. The return type would be the list of aggregate results. This is the return type. It's not going to be an integer or anything. It's going to be a list of aggregate results. So let's say we create a variable named as grouped results. So this is the output is going to be stored of this query will be stored in this particular list. Now we have to calculate what we have to calculate. We have to calculate the average amount. So how are we going to get the average amount from this list? In order to do that, what we have to do is we are going to go and say, so this is the way to fetch the average paid amount. So go to the index of zero of this list and say average amount. So this is the way to calculate the average amount. So we are going, we are fetching the zeroth index and we're calling the get of average amount here. And what we're going to do, we're going to store this particular value in the variable called average paid amount. So we created a variable which has the value of the average amount. So now if you go ahead and display, if you go ahead and display it, we can say the average amount paid by the ABC customer would be what? So the average amount will be equals to plus, and you can go ahead and say average paid amount. So now if you go ahead and execute this program, the average amount is 433.33. So if you remember here, we had three invoices. And this is the, the first one was for 100 
the next one was for 500 and the third invoice was for $700. So these are the three invoices that we had. Now, if you wanted to calculate the average, we are going to go ahead and divide it by three. So what's going to be the value here? It's going to be the same as this one, 433.333. So what we have done here is let's take a look at the example. So we are trying to calculate the average amount paid by the customer. So in order to do that, we have an aggregate function available called average and AVG. That's the shorthand. And now we are specifying which particular field we wanted to calculate the average for. So we wanted to calculate the average for the amount paid field on the invoice object. So we are saying the amount paid field from the invoice object, which for which customer, where the customer name is equals to ABC customer. So to access the customer name, we are going to go ahead and use this relationship field dot of name is equals to ABC customer. So this is the way to fetch the name of the customer. So the particular query is going to go ahead and give you a list of aggregate result. This is what the return type from the query is. And now from this particular list, how we are going to fetch the average amount. This is the way to fetch the average amount. So we're going to go ahead and go to the index of zero and do a get on the average amount. So here, if I go ahead and just try to display this value system dot of debug. And if I try to just display this group results, let's see what's the output here. So the aggregate result, this is a list and it has this, it gives you the average amount is 433. So at the index of zero, what it has, it has this average amount. And well, what we did, we did this get method and on this particular average amount, and we're going to go ahead and store that value in the average paid amount. And then we are displaying the value of the average paid amount. So this is the way to calculate the average revenue we made from the ABC customer.